Hi, it's Bob, and today we've stopped in Middle River. We're at Savvy Obsessed Sisters in the old Creamery building. Let's go on inside and take a look. We're inside the historic building that is uh, the home of the Savvy Obsessed Sisters, and these are the sisters. Heather and Heidi, thanks for having us. Thank you. Uh, you certainly have something for about everybody here. Everybody, there's something for anyone, kids, adults, elderly, yeah. males, females. Got a little bit of uh, something for everyone. We're going to take a look around the store here, but maybe if you could give me a little history. Um, this is certainly a historic building. It's been here for a long time. Uh, you've only been here a little while, though. A little over a year, about 15 months. All right. Yeah. Did you start with the walls packed like they are today? No. No. <laughs> we, we started with the pressure washer first. <laughs> well, it had sat empty for quite a while before you got here, right? It did, yes. It's had empty for 15 years. So when we purchased the building, there was no plumbing, no electrical, um, not even wiring from the city to the building. So it's just an empty shell. All right. And, and how would you describe to someone? I mean, obviously there are antique items in here, uh, but how would you describe it? Uh, we have a little bit of everything. Antiques, home decor, clothing, jewelry, man, man items, flashlights, knives, tools, old historic tools. And there's some new things here, too. Yep. All right. We're going to take a look at a few of the different departments and a look around the store here and give you a better idea about this unique shopping experience in Middle River. Well, right in the heart of the store, kind of a unique display with the uh, canoe and the handbags. And tell us a little bit about the Myra bags. Myra bags are really popular. They're made with real leather, cowhide, uh, canvas. There's a different variety, different sizes, different styles. They're very popular. Uh, and, and I was commenting on the canoe that they're they're housed in right now. That's also for sale. In fact, a lot of the displays, including these beautiful counters that recently arrived, all for sale also. Yep. These two just arrived on Friday, Saturday, something like that. <laughs> well, that's so. I mean, merchandise always changes too. So if you're in one week, uh, things sell, new things come in. Uh, you also have some candles. You have some other new uh, things. Are they local vendors or, or things you find here and there? Um, our candles are made. Actually, a 13-year-old kid out of Detroit Lakes started really? that company. He's now 19, and his mom helped him because he's in college. So. <laughs> She's got the blunt of it now. Fantastic. Uh, whether you're looking for an accent for your own home or a great gift for somebody else, uh, you have a nice selection. We have a, a large variety. Right now we have a lot of our Christmas stuff in, not all of it, so it changes every day. All right, let's let's uh, let's move. Uh, we're going to move over. We're going to take a look at the man cave next. We are in the man cave, and and what a selection of items, and and I think, oh, what's in here? And then you start looking around going, well, look at that, and uh, you have uh, something, and you tell me the, the guys kind of gravitate here. They do. It's kind of fun now when they walk in, they come right here, they know exactly what they want, what they're looking for, and some of them actually have been in here and not told their wives about our store yet, which... That needs to change. <laughs> so, some vintage tools. Uh, you've got uh, vintage hand tools here. You've got just neat guy stuff. Uh, and uh, again, if you're accessorizing your own room or, or looking for that special accent, it's a great place to stop. It is. Yeah, we have anything and everything you can think of. It's, you know, our store is meant to be a gift shop, um, a fun, unique stop for anybody. Um, but we also, you know, if you come in here and you just take out a memory from your past life, from grandma, grandpa, whoever, we made your day. Well, isn't that making memories is what it's all about. Exactly. Uh, Man Cave, just one of the special rooms here that you'll find at uh, Sappy Obsessed Sisters. <laughs> We are in what apparently was, it was the office, right? Uh, the old creamery? It was, yep. This is where the ladies did all the accounting and book work and wow. wrote out the checks for the milk and cream. Fantastic. Uh, lots, of, lots of things going on here. Of course, you're decorated for Christmas. You have some nice quick grab and go items. Uh, if you're looking for something simple, even some handmade down the road rolling pins here too. Started 70 years ago in New Folden, Minnesota, yeah. the Lockstead Rolling Pins. Yeah, they're famous worldwide, yeah. and you'll find them right here in uh, Middle River. Uh, boy, what a fantastic store. Thank you so much for having us. Uh, how do they get a hold of you if they if they want to talk more about something they see or want to arrange a shopping visit? Um, they can find us on Facebook. We have a Facebook page, Savvy Obsessed Sisters, or they can call Heidi's phone number, 218-689-4218. Or my number is 
8468. And as I understand, also, if you've got a, a party, a group of gals or guys who want to get together and have a little private show or shopping, you can do that too. Absolutely. We'll take private bookings anytime. Just give us a call, plan ahead, and we'll open the doors for you. Have the heat on. Otherwise, uh, regular store hours? Uh, Wednesday through Saturday, 10 to 5, and Sundays, noon to 3, and then we'll have some special events um, Saturday. We're having a sip and shop, and um, we're open from 10 to 5, but if the store's packed, we're not going to kick you out. We'll stay open as late as we need to. And of course, if you if you stay up on Facebook, you'll find out when these special events happen, too. Absolutely, All yes. Right. Uh, thanks for having us. It's been a pleasure to be here. Savvy Obsessed Sisters, right off Highway 32. Look for the old creamery. It's, it's a historic building. You're going to enjoy a visit here. And thanks for watching this Bob stop.